everywhere I go, I see his face. Just really miss him. Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited for this one because it's a bit different than what I usually do. I am going to be taking a look at the Spider-Man 2 on PS5 trailer, not the game just yet. Um, this is my first ever video that is like this format. So if you guys have any critiques or anything that you would like to see improved upon, please let me know down in the comment section. But why down there, if you do enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and you know how it is. But let's not waste any more time and get right into the trailer. Venom looks so sick in this one, dude. This is something else. The voice acting is also going to be great. Are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. This is going to be dope, dude. This is crazy. We call it a symbiote, and it chose you. Get it off of him! Ready for your annual physical? I'm the hero here, not you. What the hell's going on with Pete? You're not yourself. I like this more of aggression. Join us. He's here. Fuck down the whole building! I know I can snap him out of this! We can fight this together! So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Spider-Man 2 on PS5 trailer. And I'm really, really excited to see what Insomniac is bringing to the table when it comes to Spider-Man. Because they did great on Miles Morales and the uh, original Spider-Man on PS4. And they're mastered, of course, on PS5 and PC. Uh, all fantastic. All great games. Um, the I'm, I'm really curious to see. So if you go back to... What is it, like a minute? Like, th th like 30 seconds in? You can kind of see like a little bit of an aura around it. I'm 95% sure that's, that's just going to be like a like a poison like it was in the last game. Like the uh, like when he got stung by Scorpion, I think it was. And you see this like this green aura. But there's also a lot of like hints and theories that are guided towards Mysterio being in here. Which I don't see happening. Because, I mean, the, you never know with um, Insomniac, but it could be like one of those things where, surprise, we have a another cool villain in here. But I don't think that's going to be the case. But that just kind of reminds me of it. And I know there's been like um, been like little tricklets, I guess, like a little bit of a Easter eggs of uh, Mysterio's icon on, the, on like clothes and stuff. So you never know. Uh, but let's talk about the scenery real quick. If you go back to big, like right here, that's... This is probably CGI. Like this is no way that's gonna be real, right? I mean, this is the shot I'm talking about. I've never like this. This game just looks so good, and so did the first one in Miles from Morales. But I think they're, get, they're gonna take it up like five notches with this one. Like it just looks so good. My biggest question for this game is: is how? Well, one of them. What's the interaction gonna be like between? Martin Lee and Miles Morales since if you don't know spo uh, spoiler alert uh, Martin Lee killed his dad so I wonder how I wonder how the interaction is going to go between these two characters and Sandman dude I I, I didn't think that they're going to bring Sandman into the Spider-Man 2 game Sandman dude look how massive he is he's like he's like this it's, it's like this compared to like this it's, it's just it's just it's so tiny compared to they're so they're they're, they're mini school they're like ants. I don't know, I don't even, I, I don't even know dude. This is, it's just the scaling is gonna be insane. So I think this is the same level where they were like uh, Spider Man was when he tried to find out where that doctor was in the in the first Spider Man where that where that Halloween party was going. So fireworks going. It looks like the Spider Man webbing up here. And then this, the way that the symbiote just like. Just, ugh, you know what I mean? Like it's just so cool it's looking. Symbiote, to and it chose. My question is, is crazy. We call it. So he already has the venom, the symbiote on him. 
why is this covering him even more? Like, is he transforming to Venom? I could be very... I, I don't I don't know. We'll go back to this shot right here. Before. No, that's what, this one here. So when he says, get this off of him, I don't think he's actually referring to the symbiote beyond Spider-Man. I think what might happen is uh, Harry might actually have this symbiote on him for like a split moment or a little bit part of the game. And obviously since the symbiote doesn't really agree or it can't really like um can't really bond with somebody if their vital signs don't match or whatever it can kill them and I so I think this might be a, that part of the game I I don't know but that's what my theory is Off of him. ready for your annual physical I'm the hero here not you the hell's going on with me so one thing I really noticed too in this trailer is that Spider-Man is really really aggravated a lot and I think obviously that's due to the symbiote like making him over react and um, his anger more prominent than any other emotion but I really like this moment where he's like you're not the hero I am and it just really goes to show that the symbiote is actively taking over his personality his mind and like, transforming him into like a uh, more of an anti-hero rather than just a you know a quick-witted Spider-Man that always cracks jokes at the wrong at the wrong and right time. Not you. So this is gonna, probably going to be like in the middle of the game, or at least a couple of hours in into the game, because like this is after the symbiote was probably taken off of him, and um, because at the end of the first one you see Harry, and like I think it's what is it the symbiote suit? I can't remember correctly, but. Um, is clearly getting much worse than the last time we saw him in, in the first Spider-Man. I know I can snap him out of this. We can break this together. I really like how the uh, you know they use Venom as a big bad guy rather than just like you know how this how the movies have him where he's more of an anti-hero and doesn't really kill unless he has to. This one is just like he just doesn't care he just whips people throws them off buildings kills people doesn't really matter like i said before you have a lot of this game is going to be insane you have a lot of villains you have uh you have craven you have um you have venom you have sandman you have i think that's the main big three ones but i think i think uh octavius is probably going to be coming back don't really know for sure we might see a bit of green goblin action in here i don't think that's going to be the case um I think that's going to be in the, in the next one. The theory is is that Harry Osborn isn't actually going to make it. Could be utterly wrong. Um, his his condition is debilitating. You can see him in the frames that he's in, going from a happy Harry to very much uh, on the deathbed kind of thing, where he's like on a ca he's on a cane. He's looking very pale, like right here, where he's like he looks very pale. He's a, he's he has a cane, and I don't think he's gonna make it like I said before and that might go, uh, drive Osborne to go over the edge and um, you know blame Peter Parker or Sp Spider-Man for killing Harry but you never know yeah you know, that's just uh, maybe I'm too th maybe I'm thinking too far ahead here if you guys do like this video and want to see more content like this please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like the video you know what to do like subscribe if you haven't already and as always I will see you guys in the next one peace